before we move move on uh, too far, it's worth explaining a few more things about uh, about just basic and the the environment. Um, programming is generally done in something called an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment, and IDEs typically incorporate um, several features that make programming easier. Um, the first and perhaps most important is the editor. Um, so there's a vast difference between a good and a bad editor for writing programs. Uh, the observant amongst you will have already noticed that um, the text that I typed in automatically changed colour without me seemingly doing anything. And um, what this is demonstrating is the fact that the editor is uh, sort of reading the text as I'm typing it and working out what type of instruction it is to the computer. So we can see here that print has appeared in blue, and um, blue in just basic means um, a, a recognised just basic command and instruction. Um, and the string that we typed in inside double quotes has been highlighted in, in green. If I alter some of the text and put an extra I in the middle of print, for example, then that has changed colour to um, greeny blue sort of colour. Uh, there will be a name for that, but I'm not, uh, I'm not. I'm not an artist. So this shows that that instruction has no longer been recognised as as an instruction. And if we indeed try to run that program now, we will find that it won't run. We have. Um, as can be seen at the bottom in the uh, status bar, we've got a syntax error in our program, uh, and syntax refers to the the way that instructions are identified by the the compiler. And what it means is that it doesn't recognise the syntax of what we've written, the way in which we have written um, given commands. So using commands incorrectly or typing mistakes can result in things called syntax errors. So if I remove that extra I, we can see that it immediately goes back to being blue. Um, a second most uh, second useful feature of um, integrated development environments is the ability to uh, run a program from within the environment, uh, automatically compiling the program and then executing it for us. Uh, if you do these things manually then it can often be several steps um, of um, detailed commands to convert a source co a source file into an executable program and uh, in, a, in the case of a language like C and C++ for example these commands can be uh, um, complicated and, um, and, and involved so using an integrated development environment is, is a very useful feature. Um, a third feature is to do something called debugging a program which we will have a look at later on in the module.